People might wonder, how did I do it? How is it I own a country? I mean, I can list out, it's pretty simple, really. I mean, all the different projects that I basically um, weighed in on, or, you know, inventing a steam shovel, inventing a steam engine, inventing of the wing, inventing a flight, airplanes, the stuff I did during World War II, trying to protect people, my involvement in the Philippines, um, K, uh, K29, U23, U35, and um, all the different projects, um, getting Howard Hughes to, I mean, uh, communicating with Howard Hughes to get my airplanes pushed a little bit further. Um, like I say, the, the invention of the steam engine and just everything, I mean, uh, and how, like, uh, you, um, I mean, uh, K-29 basically, you know, set to work building my country for me, America, and they were the wind scale people, um, or white scale people that were working at wind scale that then went to K-29 that then went and did uh, U-23 afterwards. K-29 was a factory that built K uh, U-23 basically, which I think might have become Lockheed, the Lockheed facility or something. I don't know exactly where it is. I've never been there, like I said. Um, these people just kind of started doing it, and they actually started making money and stuff, and basically their only, like I said, their only, their only criteria was do it safely, no one gets raided, you know, and uh, do what they did best, basically, and pretty much for their mankind. And build me a country, pretty much. <laughs> I was like, build me a country. And they said, do you want anything? How about a hotel, I said. <laughs> um, so, you know, and I kind of took um, um, my Westinghouse company and kind of put it into, all into, um, and, and kind of rolled it over into um, into K, K, um, K129, you know, with the funds and stuff. And then they were able to make, actually make like $17 million dollars uh, a year or something like some outrageous amount of money. I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, I saw it. I was like, whoa, that's ridiculous. Well, I guess that's what you get when you give geniuses some money. Um, you know, I mean, what I was having them do at white scale and wind scale was nothing compared to what they did at K29. What they did at K29 was just like, like hitting warp speed. <laughs> It just like warped out, <laughs> um, and I was just flat amazed. Like they invented their own concrete, their own everything, their own fire trucks. Their own, they actually even trained their own their their own security staff that became police officers. They had their own police officers people, and they trained them the right way. And just everything was basically pretty much the way I wanted it to be, um, except I didn't have to make all the decisions with them. So, which was really nice. It was just, uh, like, like I breathed a sigh of relief and I was like, ah, why did I do this earlier? <laughs> kind of style. And I was just amazed at, at everything. They, they, they shot, I mean, I was just like, wow, that is amazing. And, um, you know, America became America really when, when K29 and KU23 were, were, were built. And, um, yeah, I was just along for a ride at that point in time. I got to just sit there and advise and relax. Ah, yep, child. Having his country built. Ah, it's nice. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I was a little genius, as, a genius that started it off, and then I cared about a lot of people. And then, um, you know, things started to move a little bit, a lot smoother, a lot easier. And that kind of is where K29 came in and U23 came in is with those things and um and i was absolutely amazed like i say and there's a lot of other amazing things afterwards like howard hughes and just everything else was just you know i mean like i said after a while i was able to just relax and advise which was a lot nicer and then things would just basically get done on my behalf and it was just like autopilot and it was nice it was really really nice anyway but yeah